Welcome back to another YouTube video. It's your tutor, Disha. Today, I'll be looking at the prokaryotic cell. And a prokaryotic cell lacks membrane-bound organelles like what we discussed in the eukaryotic cells video. And one of the most important distinguishing feature of prokaryotes is that their genetic material is naked. Yes, it's not enclosed in a nuclear envelope and it's found floating in the cytoplasm. Prokaryotes belong to the domain eubacteria and archaea. Prokaryotes are unicellular. So the cell is the entire makeup of the organism. They can be found all over the environment, in the aquatic ecosystem, in the terrestrial ecosystem, in our digestive system. And some prokaryotes are even extremophiles. Yes, we can find them in extreme conditions. Now, this is the structure of a typical prokaryotic cell. So the first external structure here is called the capsule. And this is a unique structure to most prokaryotic cells, especially the bacteria. And think of the capsule as a covering. The capsule provides protection to the prokaryotic cells. It protects it from being ingested and digested by other organisms. It also protects the cell from being dehydrated in its environment. Now, immediately to the capsule, we have the cell wall. And we saw in the eukaryotic video that plant cells also have a cell wall. However, the cell wall here in prokaryotic cells is not made up of cellulose, but it's made up of proteins rather called peptidoglycans. As in plant cells, it provides structural support to the prokaryotic cells. It also enables the cell to withstand osmotic pressures. Now, similarly in both animal and plant cells, there is a cell membrane or plasma membrane in prokaryotic cells, also composed of a bilayer, but it lacks many of those important molecules that make up the bilayer in eukaryotes. The cell membrane here is also selectively permeable and it selects for or against molecules coming in the cell. Now, one of the features of the prokaryotic cell that should stand out to you as you are watching this video is this structure here it appears like a tail it's called the flagellum it enables the cell to move from place to place in its environment so now we have reached inside the cell seen some structures and organelles suspended in the cytoplasm organelles like ribosomes granules and of course the genetic material there's also substances dissolved in the cytoplasm, like enzymes, carbohydrates, lipids, and so on. The ribosomes perform the same function as in eukaryotes. They make proteins. This area here is the nuclei that contains the DNA, you know, which is the genetic material. This genetic material will, will determine what goes on inside the cell and is also involved in reproduction. All right, so before we go, let's compare the eukaryotic cell with the prokaryotic cell. And I hope you watched the previous video because that will help out a lot. So let's do the similarities over here. And let's do the differences here. So both eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells they possess features like the cell membrane. They both have ribosomes. They both have a genetic material or DNA. They both have a cytoplasm. No membrane bound organelles. We saw in the eukaryotic video that the plant cells were made up of cell wall with cellulose. Well, here the prokaryotic cell wall is made up of peptidoglycans. So that's another difference to note.
Another important difference to note is of the genetic material. It is not enclosed while in eukaryotes, it's enclosed in an envelope or a nuclear membrane. The genetic material here is a bit circular, while in eukaryotes, it's linear. And even though prokaryotes and eukaryotes share ribosomes, they differ in size. So I want you to know that for prokaryotes, the ribosomes are smaller. 70S for prokaryotes, while it's 80S for eukaryotes. This might not be depicted here, but generally the prokaryotic cell is overall smaller than the eukaryotic cell all right guys thanks for watching this video be sure to subscribe and share with your peers bye